Change has come to America. Many progressives are disappointed in Obama. I'm not at all disappointed in Obama. I think that he's done a brilliant job given the way the cards are stacked against him. I had no illusions about that during the electoral campaign. I was amazed how many people imagined that at last the savior had come. Now, I have to admit, when I was 10 years old, Superman was my favorite. But we must grow beyond our 10-year-old phase of wanting Superman to come. I, having cut my teeth in social change in the civil rights movement, having been jailed in the civil rights movement, I never thought I would see in my lifetime a black president in the White House. I think that's a tremendous step forward. The man never said he was a Martin Luther King. He said he was a pragmatic politician. I believed him. I didn't understand why my friends didn't believe him. He said what he was going to do. He also said, I will do what I can, but how much I get done depends on you. We are the ones we've been waiting for. And then what I saw was he entered the White House and most of the people who voted for him went to sleep and waited for him to deliver as if he was a savior or maybe as if he was selling them a piece of goods and they could just wait at the counter while he went off and brought it back to them. It was an incredibly naive way of looking at American politics. The 30s make it clear. The 60s make it clear. We only get what we fight for. Obama knew that. Obama would be a phenomenal ally for us anytime we decide to get up on our hand, hind legs, and that's what I'm about in my life.